What's up, guys? It is Dammit Bennett. We are back here on YouTube for another episode of our, I guess, now weekly video series called Dammit Noob, which is all about uh, kind of giving a video tutorial walkthrough on different things to help get you started streaming. Um, this is something that uh, uh, I have learned, I don't know if you would say the hard way, but I've had to kind of scour the internet when I first got started streaming, and I want to give back some of the, the knowledge that I've gained along the way, maybe to help your, make your journey a little bit easier. Um, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this video series, and feel free to either comment, like, um, or or, you know, make some suggestions on topics that you'd love to see me cover. Maybe you you do watch the stream and you've seen something that you want to know how we did it or what we're doing. You know, definitely feel free to ask. I will happily make another video for that specifically. But let's get right into it today. Uh, we've covered a, com a couple things so far in the series, um, and I have gotten some more questions about Twitch alerts and uh, how to set up the alerts and things like that. So we're going to jump right into that today. Um, first off, uh, you're going to want to go over to twitchalerts.com. And um, it is very easy to log in. If you already have your Twitch uh, stream up and you're logged in, just click on the launch Twitch alerts, and then you're going to connect with your Twitch. Now, obviously, we're not going to mess with any of the settings that I have for my stream. So we've made this dummy account here, not damn it, Bennett. And... Um, you are going to be able to see the dashboard here. And in the dashboard, you'll have some interesting information. It will tell you all of your follows, your subscriptions, your donations, whatever. It will tell you some different things and information here. Uh, also, there's this little uh, kind of event here. Um, you can see who has followed and uh, different uh, things will pop up in there uh, from donations. You can click them to even repeat them. Uh, if, if you missed it for some reason, you were taking a break and someone followed, you want to you give them a shout out, you can go there. But Twitch Alerts has a lot of really cool things that you can do from donations to donation goals. Um, the things that we're going to focus on today is going to be the alert box and the event list. So first off, let's get into the alert box. Now, one of the most important things on this page is going to be this link right here, because this is what we're going to be using to make the alerts happen uh, on screen for you. So you're going to want to always copy and paste that, just have that ready to go. Um, and then this will be the overall settings for all of your alerts. Uh, for what we're going to be demonstrating today, the text over the image is the one that we're going to need. So we want to make sure that we have that select and we have uh, a two second delay, which is fine. So uh, you can save those settings and then you click on follows. So we've built a custom uh, little silly follower alert here. Uh, very easy to make. Um, it's seriously a shape and then our logo with a line drawn through it. So, um, you can upload this very easily, but let's get into the top part first. Again, you're going to want to have the text over the image. Uh, for this in, uh, alert, we're going to have slide in from the right and slide out from the right. And then you're probably seeing this here, and you're like, what the hell is all that? Um, this is a, a space in HTML. And the reason that it's there is because I've made a custom image, um, the alert's name, so the follower's name, is going to pop up in, uh, somewhere on this image, usually in the center. But this image is kind of custom. It's got this kind of gat dash right here, and... and um, you, you won't necessarily always be centered. So I've put in a couple spaces. That way we can center it a little bit more, um, and it's not over the image, over this logo over here, or on top of this text. Um, so you, you'll kind of have to mess around with that. Uh, again, the sp it is uh, for space in HTML, it's ampersand NBSP semicolon. And we just did that a couple times. Plus, we did the brackets uh, with name in the middle. Uh, you can see that if you click on the question mark or mouse over it, you will see that that's the available token for the message template to have the name populate on that alert. Um, the next part you can see here, we've got Pulse. Uh, there are some different animations for their name. You can choose whatever you want. It's up to you. That's purely just customization, and uh, it's up to you. Well, um, I don't know if we even use any more on ours. I think we just have none on. But for this uh, example, we're going to do Tada. 
Um, to load your image, you're just going to click on that little picture and you can upload from there. When you get there, you just click on it and there you go. Same thing with the audio. We're just going to use the default sound, but since it is kind of annoying, we're going to turn it down to maybe 10% and we're going to make this alert last for five seconds. Now, you want to get even further on the customization. You can get in here and you can click on the fonts. You can use different fonts from Google. Um, if you go to uh, google.com forward slash fonts, you'll be able to find different uh, tape, uh, typefaces that you can use. Um, and then you got the settings here, the font size. We've got it set at 70 pixels uh, and a, a weight of 800 as well. We're going to match the holy crap, it's a new follower with uh, black text and a white highlight. Um, and then we're just going to click save on that. So we're going to go back to this link here and we're going to make sure we have that copied and paste and we're going to go open up OBS. Now, once again, uh, this is OBS Classic that we're currently using. Uh, we use OBS Studio to record all the YouTube videos, but for demonstration purposes, we want to make sure we're using this uh, so that you can see it here. Now, uh, we've created this scene, the YouTube scene. Uh, we've already made a CR or CLR browser, um, which is a downloadable plugin that I have linked in the description. Um, so what you can go ahead and do is open this up. This is where you will paste your link that you just copied from your Twitch alerts box. And um, for our specific custom image, it is very important that you know exactly the right size of your image so that you have these outlines in the correct places and you can place it on and over your stream and your overlay or whatever you're using uh, fairly easily if you have that. So if we just go back here into Photoshop, uh, here's the image that we made. We'll go ahead and click on image size. We'll want to change this to pixels and we see that it's 1,176 by 465. So we're going to remember those numbers and we're going to come back here and obviously they're already there. So we're all good. We're going to click save on that. And then to test this out, we're just going to click this test follow alert. So we'll go here and bam, there it is. We've already got it. It's there. It's doing its little dance with the letters and it slides out. So that is how you do it. Um, you add that. It is now uh, on your stream. Um, and I'm sure that you noticed that below a little thing popped up over here and we can jump into that too. This is the event list. Um, another feature that you probably have seen on a lot of different broadcasts uh, if you if you watch Twitch a lot. Um, and for this one, once again, it is a, it is a separate um, link that you're going to need to use. So you want to make sure you highlight this link, copy and paste it. And for this, we're going to turn off the, the, the alert so we just focus on what's in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, but this is what we've got set up so far. We've got the theme as slick. Uh, there's a bunch of different uh, versions of it. I don't know. I kind of feel like these ones are a little tacky. That's personal opinion, though. Slick is just, it's pretty simple. You can't, you can't really go too wrong with it. Um, you can change your theme color here. Um, if you are pretty uh, knowledgeable with CSS, you can do custom stuff, which is awesome. Um, but um, we're going to enable follow, subscriptions, donation, host, and bits. Obviously, if you're not a partner streamer, subscriptions is out. Same with the bits. But... Um, you know, it's entirely up to you. Minimum viewer for host to get recognized on that. You can set something. I don't know. I feel that all hosts should be appreciated for the support of your channel. So always have this set at zero. Um, if you just want to help support the stream, you know, this is a great way to do it. Um, a max events. You usually don't want this thing piling up all the way on your, on your stream. So I, I usually keep this around four. You can change some um, text here or colors here and the font again here. Uh, text size and animations, how it's going to happen. You can flip them upside down. Right now, they're happening on the bottom, and then they're moving up. If we change that, it will it will go up. It will start on the top and work its way down. Entirely up to you. But once again, you take that same link that we had before. You make a new uh, CLR browser. We just happen to call this one Events. You're going to pop that right in here. This one, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um on the, the dimensions, you can have them whatever you want, but the, usually the custom 640 by 480 is, is pretty, pretty good. And then, you know, uh, Twitch creeper TNT, uh, just, just followed and, uh, we can, uh, hit another follow, maybe a subscription, a donation, a, a host, a bit, you know, and all of a sudden you got this list going. So some people solely use this now as, as their, um, you know, their alert for followers, 
Um, they don't have a whole bunch of animations going off and things like that. It's entirely up to you. The best part of all of this is that it's customizable and you can do whatever you want. If you've got some knowledge when it comes to Photoshop or Illustrator, you can make some really cool custom alerts. If you have knowledge of CSS, you can make some pretty badass stuff. So this is a great way to kind of make your stream a little bit more personal, a little bit more customizable, um, and Twitch Alerts brings that right to you. So definitely come check it out sometime. Uh, we are live on Tuesdays and Thursdays, usually around 9 p.m. Eastern time. And then on Fridays, we're usually live by 11 a.m. Eastern time and we go till about 6 p.m. Uh, so come by the stream sometime. Say hi. Let us know that you came from YouTube. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. Feel free to share this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, send me a message on Twitter, whatever. You can follow me at Dammit Bennett. And hopefully you guys had a great time and are enjoying the series. We'll see you later.